Hi, welcome to Arcade Moissa. It's the vlog 17 on the pinball Doctor Who restoration or Doctor Who pinball restoration, whatever you like. Uh, this is a big one. This is the one where we complete the assembly of the playfield. I keep putting some posts here and there, cleaning, polishing stuff. Um, it's getting pretty well. So in this vlog, we're going to complete that section. And to do that, I need to put that plastic. And I just wanted to share with you a little trick I have because look at this plastic. It's pretty warped. Uh, but it's uh, salvageable so I'm gonna simply heat it up for a while put nice flat pressure stuff on it and this will do the trick once clean and flattened it looks pretty cool very glad and the way you have to assemble this particular section of the playfield you have to use the little socket here to put the police box okay but there is no way you can put this first then this because in order after that to put the plastic it get a bit hard well well it's feasible it's just that the screw are not that easy to reach but okay that's the way I just completed one of the most important part of the playfield assembly which is putting all back all the different posts in the pop bumper area. Most of the time in the pinball machine the pop bumper area is one of the most complicated that part to assemble because there is a lot of variety of posts and they all have of course a specific location to be put on. Of course I had pictures as a reference but still you always make a double check to be sure that everything is at the right place and of course every rubber right now what I'm left to do is put back the pop bumpers after that I will be able to put plastics here there here there I install the pop bumper and start by soldering all the little wires for the light sockets in case you are in the same situation as me and haven't taken a photo well remember that the bottom one use the white purple and purple wire the right one the one next to the mini play field use the green color wire and the other one the yellow ones it was pretty uh, tricky to put some staples back to hold the wire in place because you don't want them to have any contact with the the assembly and also there's some kind of little plastic insulator that you put over the wire so it, it actually prevent any short time to flip the playfield around and continue I love those type of pop bumpers I put the Comet pinball uh, lead disc that lights up underneath and up there is two little screws here and here to adjust the intensity of uh, each uh, set of LEDs. Um, these are pretty hard to adjust when you put all the ramps over it and you can't test it until the machine, well, I, should, I could maybe try to find a 12 volt supply to put some lighting in that, but to be honest, it's not the first time I'm putting them and by default, the setting is for me perfect. So I don't feel the need to touch them at all. They also are provided with new set of screws because they uh, had a little bit of height to the pop bumper. So they are they provide longer screws in order for this to be tightened down perfectly. Okay, now it's I mean I'm done with most of the hard part now. Of course, I'm not talking about the mini play field which will be put at the end, but Right now I just need to put ramps and plastics and it should look pretty pretty cool in a jiffy. I had to actually find a longer screw to put the plastic down because even though Comet Pinball provide a long screw the, 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 the thickness of the plastic make it that the, it doesn't hold anymore so I find a, a longer one to make it put it in place. So now I have put all the plastic. I I've come to the fatidic part of putting the mini playfield. 
I don't have any other choice than to put the mini play field in order to be, to be able to put the long ramp, then afterward to put the smaller ramp because actually it's the there is no way we can do it in another order this is the only way to do it because if you put that ramp it blocks you to put that one if you put that one it blocks you to put the mini play field i really wanted to put to make it as far as possible without having to put it because i uh, i put it on a scale and it's actually a eight uh, pounds weight eight pounds pretty heavy on the play field it can cause a lot of stress and also on the road is free it means that I won't be able to actually flip it one side and another as I wish I could so that's why uh, this uh, I'm doing this right now because everything else is done okay let's see that in action here we are with a mini play field in the play field and if you wonder if it was um, tedious and um, time and nerve and breaking and everything well it was and I cannot put yet the little let's see the crown I have such wonderful terms for everything I wish I could put the crown right now will it be nice but I can't because the top flap of the crown actually hides a post because this post is used to put the big ramp so I cannot put the crown yet. Okay, just put it very gently like that. Okay, so now I will be able to put that and after that I should be able to slide in the crown. Is it feasible? Yeah, it is. Okay, like that. So many steps to take. One at a time, no hurry. Finally, here we are. A complete playfield of Doctor Who. Fully refurbished, overhaul, restore, overkill. All the calificative come my way. So, yeah. Every step must be done in one specific order. Mini play field, big ramp, canopy, crown, then the ramp. Yeah, I'm so happy with the results. It looks so good, so fine. Can't wait to play it. Um, of course, there's a few things missing, of course. I cannot put the little ball eject mech yet because it's in the way of the rotisserie as well as the little metal brackets that put the, the play field on lock down bar and the back panel that I can't put yet at the back so these are the last moment of the play field on the rotisserie I will put it aside for a little while on the table so I can finish putting this as well as the little apron that needs some works too because I'm actually gonna put some NOS or repro I'm pretty sure they're repro because NOS I'm pretty sure this is um, uh, silk screen on the apron yeah these are stickers and even though these are stickers they're pretty beat up weird so I got brand new one to put on this and afterward I'll put it on the play field that was a tough one. It's a huge play field with a lot of little steps. No hurry, like I already said. You gotta take your time. And in the end, you got a pretty nice play field to play with. Really easier to play on it. So if everything goes well, on vlog 18, there's gonna be a startup. But just before that, I'm gonna have to work on the speaker grill the speaker panel, I gotta put the color DMD and the LED CD. This is what awaits us in the vlog 18. So I'm putting the machine on its legs. It's gonna be a good one too. So if you like it, like, share, subscribe, click the bell, comments. I like hearing details from you. Have you any suggestion on how things could have done different? 
I'm all ears, seriously. So see you soon, bye.